Analyzing a business for people allows you to determine where the problems are, what needs to change, and the priorities for change. So there are two main areas that we need to look at in this analysis. We need to begin with the people, how they feel about the work, how satisfied they are. And so we need to ask them some questions, either one-to-one -one in a conversation or we could do it at a, at a farm meeting when we're discussing how the farm's working. And some of the questions I'm thinking of are, how satisfied are you with the work that you're doing? How motivated are you? Do you feel included in the decision-making process? Is the work suited to you? Do you have good work-life balance? And also another very good question to ask is, if there are problems, what are some suggestions that you might have to changing the way that the work is done? So it's very important to start with the people first and find out how they're going. And this can be done on an ongoing basis. The next area, or the second area that we need to look at, are the more measurable areas on the farm, the farm productivity around people. To begin with, we need to work out a full time, the number of full time equivalents in your farm business. Now, a full time, one full time equivalent is 38 hours per week over 52 weeks or 1,976 hours. To find out the full time equivalents for your business, take the total hours worked and divide by 1,976. That will give you the full time equivalents for your farm and you can use that as a basis for the other measurements. The first measurement we want to do then is people productivity. So this is the total amount of production on the farm divided by the full-time equivalents. In the dairy industry, for example, 500,000 litres per full-time equivalent is a common measure of productivity. People costs. This is the next key measurement. So what we need to do there is take the total costs of people on your business in 12 months and divide that by the production. And we'll end up with figures such as cents per litre, dollars per kilogram, dollars per tonne. Now these are just key measurements that we can use for comparison year on year. We can compare to other like businesses or we can use them to set targets for the next season. Other areas we need to monitor and keep track of are things like the number of sick days, the hours worked by people which can give us an indication of whether people are working too long hours, the amount of leave taken, the amount of injuries and accidents. Those are sorts of very important things that we need to monitor around people on a regular basis. Staff turnover is another area. How many people have come into the business and left in a, in a 12 monthly period. Once we've done that, we can then even go deeper and look at each of the subsystems on the farm, such as the, the harvesting, the sowing operations, the animal husbandry operations, the maintenance and repairs. And we can look to see where, which area of the farm is actually using the most labour and look at ways in which we might change that. The next area that we need to analyse is whether or not we're maintaining our records that we must keep legally, our legal obligations, such as OH&S recording, uh, our quality record, uh, records. Those are sorts of things that are very important to know how we're doing in terms of ministering that side of the business. So analysing your business is very important to determine what changes need to be made and how to prioritise those changes.